In this lesson, we're going to look at the profile view of an instrument approach chart. The profile view is a side view of the approach procedure, which shows you the altitudes that you need to know to successfully fly the approach. Altitudes on the profile view are depicted in one of three ways. The first way is shown on this chart. You'll see a large number with a line underneath. This indicates that that is the minimum altitude that you may fly during that segment of the approach. The next type of number that you will see is a number with a line on top and on the bottom. These numbers indicate an altitude that you must fly during an approach. These altitudes are mandatory. The final type of altitude you'll see is an altitude with a line above it. This indicates that that is the maximum altitude that you can fly during that segment of the approach procedure. Maximum altitudes are in place to protect you from possibly climbing into traffic that may be crossing above you. Next, on the profile view, you'll see a Maltese cross. The Maltese cross depicts the final approach fix for that specific approach, if it has one. Approaches without a final approach fix will not include a Maltese cross. The Maltese cross is also on ILS approaches to depict the final approach fix of the localizer only portion of the approach. The glide slope intercept altitude for the ILS is depicted by the lightning bolt arrow symbol pointing to glide slope intercept and coming from the altitude at which it should occur. A small number is also placed above or below to indicate the altitude that the aircraft will be at when it passes the localizer only final approach fix. Since the localizer only final approach fix may be slightly before or after actual glide slope intercept, the altitude may be different than the altitude necessary at the localizer final approach fix. An asterisk next to the altitude indicates some different requirement from, for that altitude from the main procedure on the approach. In this case, the asterisk next to 4,300 and 3,600 feet indicates that those altitudes are only applicable for the localizer only procedure. Next, you will see every intersection or navigational aid along the profile of the approach, which includes an altitude change or a change to the profile of the approach. In this case, you can see condo intersection is a 6,000 foot minimum altitude. Nodi is a 5,100 foot minimum altitude. Sosoy is a 4,300 foot minimum altitude. Now there may be other fixes in between these intersections, however they do not have a significance on the profile of the approach. Visual descent points for non-precision approaches are depicted by a bold V. These symbols are only applicable for non-precision approaches. The initial missed approach climb is shown by a dashed line curved upwards. On a precision approach, the dashed line begins approximately at the decision altitude. On a non-precision approach, the dashed line will begin at the missed approach point. This line is standard on every approach and does not accurately define the climb path necessary. The mileage scale at the bottom of the profile view indicates the distance between each point specified. It does not give you a total distance from the runway threshold. Instead, you can see from Kondo to Nodoi 
is 3.1 nautical miles. From Nodoy to Sasoy is 2.1 nautical miles. Sasoy to Zabes is 2.1 nautical miles. You can add up all the mileage to find your distance from the threshold. However, it may not be a precise number. On precision approaches, the approach angle is indicated along with the threshold crossing height. This information is also included on some non-precision approaches as well. If the approach procedure includes a procedure turn or hold in lieu of procedure turn, the outbound heading will be specified on top of the approach line with an arrow pointing outbound, in this case 150, and the inbound course of the approach will be depicted below the approach line, in this case 330, with an arrow inbound. If the approach does not contain a procedure turn, only the inbound course is shown, in this case 010. Just like with the plan view of the approach, DME is depicted with the open D symbol with a number inside to depict the DME distance. Next to the D, you will notice the nav aid that the DME is associated with. It's very important to check that you are using the proper DME nav aid. In some cases, DME may come from the localizer, in other cases from the VOR. Sometimes a DME may not be co-located with the approach navigational aid. Finally, the profile view section contains missed approach icons as a quick reference for flying the missed approach. Since the profile view and minima views are normally the last items looked at before going missed approach, the icons give the pilot a quick reference as to how to begin the missed approach procedure. In this case, the missed approach procedure starts with a climb straight ahead to 3200, followed by a climbing right turn to 070 and climbing to 6000 feet. You will intercept the Boulder 295 degree radial and proceed direct boulder and hold. The holding pattern will be depicted on the plan view of the approach. That covers the main sections of the profile view of an instrument approach chart. We look forward to seeing you again in the next lesson.